why do you want a high aspect? And they're all like, Hello everybody, welcome back to a new video. I'm actually knee deep in working on a story for the new print magazine. And what we're talking about and what we're trying to find out for our readers in this magazine is how is actually a foil being built? We are all coming from the sub world and from the surf world. Um, and foils are not being just shaped in your backyard real quick and then glass and laminated and being tried out in the waves or whatever you're doing with it. No, there is a complex computer engineering uh, work involved with this. There is a lot of trial and errors on the computer and the way to a first prototype is actually much longer than I have uh, anticipated. And in part of this story, as part of my research, I have traveled over to the guys over at Maui Finn and Maui Hydrofoil Company. I had the pleasure to meet with P.O. He showed me some computer renderings and explained me a little bit how they are conceptualizing a foil from the idea to the prototype to the final production. In the meanwhile, let's get started. Let's go have a look. I'm switching over and we're gonna go check in with P.O. over at his shop. First we come up with a concept. You know, what we're gonna do, we're gonna design this wing and this hydrofoil for that condition. Then we go into all the design concepts, 3D, computer analysis, uh, what do we need for what type of conditions. Then we make the actual prototype, then we start testing. You know, usually with one prototype, we get nowhere. We need to make a few more. Yeah. So let's say, I mean, let's, it, 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 let's say it might be like a, you know, yeah, but three, four, five, six, eight months work, maybe more, you know, it depends yeah. what you want yeah. to achieve. Then there's different sizes that you're going to have to try according to the conditions or the wind or yeah. the waves or anything that you need to do. Yeah, and I tell you guys, I actually just saw their computer renderings and it's amazing. Uh, the science that goes into, into foiling, uh, it is absolutely crazy. And what we're also looking at, and one thing that we're talking about, that mm -hmm. every company seems to have a little bit of a sis different system yeah. on how the pieces are actually fitting together. Yes. And what we learned here is that it's all about uh, the torque. The, the, the torque and the torsion of the torsion front wing. The, yeah, let's talk about on, this a little quick. Well, a little quick thing about this attachment that, you know, we designed with the Hydrofoil company is that, you know, there's, there's two sides and the bottom working. And a lot of our attachment, if the wing goes here, or the wing goes on the top, there's basically the screws and there is either one side working or one side working. Here you have two plus one working. So on smaller wings, you know, basically this avoids this type of movement. Mm -hmm. So, and this works very well, especially when you have big wings because you have um, a big, um, I mean, like, like wider wing, um, wingspan. Yeah. So you have way more torsion, so you have more surface to work against. Yeah. So that's why we choose, we chose to work with this attachment. So here we have it. So this is not necessarily to be niftier or more clever than somebody else. It's all no, about yeah, the torsion exactly. uh, reduction. I mean, nothing against other attachment. That's what we figured it out with our thing, with yeah. our wings and, our, and how our system works. Yeah. You know, and there's nothing saying, oh, this is better than something else. Gotcha, gotcha. Sure. And we were <laughs> just talking um, a second ago about high aspect. Yes. And the whole world is talking about high aspect yeah. and how everything has to be high aspect and yeah. high aspect this and high aspect that. Yeah. I see your range of foils. Yeah, this is just, this is the so, the hydros. And and what I, what I told Mike, the first question I asked people when they want a high aspect, I was like, why do you want a high aspect? And they're all like, that actually, you know, they, they, because there's so many high aspects on the market and you know, it's kind of a trend for us. I mean, we didn't come out yet. I mean, it's coming, but we didn't come out yet because it's, we were not on that trend. You know, we wanted to actually take some time to develop what we thought that, you know, our riders and our, and the surface, they were needing it. Um, the Helios is coming out. That is a meat aspect wing and actually look a little bit like this. Yeah, I just want to say, let's look at this one real quick. So this is, looks this like is a medium the, aspect, yeah. but it, then in the center, it has a big yeah. cord line. This is, this is like basically, so to give you an idea, a wingspan of our 1250, you know, low aspect, okay? It 1440 uh, square centimeters area of the Helios of the new wing as the same wingspan of a 1250. So it's not really high aspect, but it's a mid aspect. You know, it's a little, it's a little wider. 
All right. Well, mm. very cool. Yeah. Um, overall, channel question, real quick, a little bit of a philosophy here. Uh, where do you see foiling going? What's what's your what's your vision for? The sport. Let's let's stay with I uh, think wave just, and prone and pump foiling uh, away from I mean, away it's, from it's, the I'm wings not, into winter. I'm not really. I, I don't want to really go like really in the detail, but I think we're just at the beginning. You know, we're just at the beginning. And there is so much going on, and there is so much research and development, and the riders are pushing it. You know, our riders and you know all the other brand riders. That I mean, we're gonna see some really cool things happening. We already see guys just riding huge waves and getting barrel in Tahiti or. You know, riding jaws, kite riding jaws. I mean, there is a lot of things that they're gonna happen. All these b radical things will help us. You know, we help the average surfer so we can develop things for you know the average people. Okay, well that's cool. Um, that is definitely gonna be interesting to see uh, where the foil is going. And yes, I totally agree. This is just gonna be the beginning. Yeah. Uh, whether we're gonna need to get barreled in Tahiti on a foil yeah. or if a short board is better for that or not, the main thing uh, we're is gonna leave fun. that uh, to the surfers and the foilers. Yeah. Uh, that question but there's definitely a whole lot uh, still coming. And yeah, so if you wanna know more, read the magazine coming out in April. We have a whole little background story on how a foil is actually coming about. And, and it's yep. crazy guys, it's just crazy what goes into it. So with this being said, thank you so much. Uh, don't forget to push that like button down there, follow everybody on Instagram and um, mahalos and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks mate. So perfect. So